Hi everyone, welcome back to Roundup Save, where our goal is to demystify money and financial independence. As you know, I'm currently an MBA student at Duke University's Fuqua School of Business, and I've been getting a lot of questions about my summer MBA internship. During a traditional full-time two-year MBA program, students typically complete an internship in the summer between the two academic years. Many will treat the internship as an end-all be-all because oftentimes an internship will lead to a full-time offer. However, as a career switcher, I decided to treat my internship as well as my search for an internship as an experiment, like I was testing out a hypothesis. So today I want to share more about what my process was like and what my internship was like. For more information about why I decided to pursue an MBA and how my experience has been, I'll link two of my previous videos in the show notes below. So how did I get my internship? I knew I wanted to get into the climate tech and energy space, so I started to build experiences for myself throughout the school year by doing case competitions, reading, listening, note like learning from podcasts, doing interim internships or mentored studies as we call them, and networking with Fuqua alumni, as well as going to conferences. During my first school year, I interned with a company called Charger Help and Grove Capital. One was a startup and one was an early stage uh, climate tech VC. And it was really through the culmination of all of these experiences that I was able to demonstrate not only my interest, but also my passion and commitment to building my skill set within this field. I actually applied to the company that I interned with for the summer, AES on a whim, after hearing about another Fuqua alumni's experience working there full time. So I applied to two separate MBA positions at AES and made it to the final round for both, but unfortunately did not get the offer for either position. I did end up having a really positive relationship with the Fuqua alum who turned into my champion. She found out about another team that was interested in hiring an MBA intern and I interviewed for that role and I got it. So what was my internship? My internship at AES was in their clean energy business unit within their growth initiatives team, and that team sits under the finance team. The growth initiatives team is split into two teams, valuation and new business models. Valuation is more traditional renewable energy valuation and financial modeling, whereas new business models is all about using the financial tools to understand what the future impacts of new business ideas are outside of the scope of AES's core business, which is renewable energy, and looking at the, the bottom line impacts and if it's a good business venture to pursue. One thing I learned about AES is that it's a very entrepreneurial company. There are pockets of innovation everywhere. On this new business models team, in their product development team, at AES Next, which is their in-house incubator and investment arm, and across so many other teams. The leadership really encourages entrepreneurship and as an aspiring entrepreneur, this culture really resonated with me. So what project did I work on? My project was all about the voluntary carbon market, looking at what exactly it is, what is the total addressable market, what are the potential products, how could AES get involved, and if they did, use their core competencies to get involved, and what would it take to get leadership's buy-in. It was a really interesting project, and in the short summer 10-week internship, my team and I made a lot of progress in building a business plan and a financial model. So you may be wondering, where was my internship? The team that I was on was primarily based in Boulder, Colorado and New York, but we also had team members all over the US. Because I was going to be doing a short 10 week internship, I just couldn't justify moving somewhere halfway across the country for the full summer. Also, my team said that I could be based in any office that I wanted, and I always selfishly wanted to live in DC. So after having a hard time finding a fully furnished apartment in DC for the summer, Neil and I decided to stay in Durham for June and then go to DC for the rest of the summer because AES's headquarters is in Arlington. Neil and I rented an Airbnb in the Capitol Hill neighborhood of DC and we had a blast over the summer. It was still very much a hybrid culture and I learned that I didn't actually really need to be in the office because my team, again, was scattered across the country. So in addition to being in DC, I also spent a week in the New York office and traveled to San Diego and Palm Springs for our team's offsite trip where we got to tour the Mountain View wind turbine farm that my team 
had the chance to participate in during the early valuation stages of the project. So what was the outcome of the internship? At the end of my internship, the other MBA interns within the corporate M&A team and the next interns did a final presentation. My presentation went really well and I was able to use many of the skills that I learned at Fuqua and specifically in the leadership communication class to deliver a very strong and effective final presentation. My manager and the team gave me positive feedback and asked if I would be interested in staying on part-time during the school year and if I'd be interested in joining full-time after graduation. I said yes to staying on part-time and told them that I would revisit the idea about coming on full-time once I had more time working with the team. So let's wrap up. All in all, I had a great experience working at AES for the summer and I learned so much. My favorite thing about the company is that it has this entrepreneurial spirit and I'm excited to continue working there during the school year. So that's it, that was my summer internship. If you like content like this, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and like the channel to follow along. We so appreciate your support. See you next time on Roundup Save.